On the Health Watch, a psychedelic drug made from magic mushrooms is showing some promise in treating depression. Health reporter Stephanie Stahl joins us now with details on this new research. Yeah, this is kind of an interesting one. You know, some doctors believe that magic mushrooms can reset the brain. Well, this latest research in the UK shows they helped treat depression patients who didn't respond to traditional therapies. 47-year-old Kirk Rudder, who lives in London, suffered years of chronic depression after the loss of his mother. For me, I just felt heartbroken kind of a lot of the time. I felt very sad all the time, and I got stuck in it. Counseling and medication didn't help, so Rudder joined a small clinical trial in London for the drug psilocybin. It's formed from a compound that occurs naturally in magic mushrooms. Scientists believe the mind-altering drug can reboot brain activity known to play a role in depression. People can be changed. Their outlooks can change, uh, their perspectives, their personalities. But then, crucially, the brain reforms, and, and that's what a reset is. This video from his blog shows Rudder taking the drug in a controlled environment with mood music and counselors on hand. He says he didn't hallucinate, but felt like he was looking through a stained glass window. There's a lot of stuff coming up from your subconscious that you're not kind of looking at. Uh, I mean, for me, a big part of it was letting go of the grief. Researchers took before and after scans of the changes in his brain. Rudder says he felt better almost immediately. Magic mushrooms became popular with 60s hippie counterculture, but these researchers say psilocybin is more than just a party drug. People are, are kind of wising up to this and realizing that what they've been told about psychedelics in many cases uh, a, a kind of lie. Rudder says it's changed his life. He's more focused and happier than he's been in years. Now, psilocybin has been illegal in the United States for more than 40 years, but like with the study in London, several clinical trials are also underway here in the United States, using it to treat not just depression, but alcoholism as well. So lots of studies going on. We'll keep you posted mm -hmm. on them. Mm -hmm. Please right. do. Thanks, Thanks everyone.